What's up people, DevSage here and in this video we're going to be going over function types in TypeScript. So in the last video we saw how we can define types for variables such as string, number, boolean, the any type which accepts a variable of any type, tuples, void, null, and undefined. I forgot to mention this in the last video, but we can also have arrays of types. So if I wanted to define a string array, all I would do is add the brackets, and then I could just create an array here. Same with number, same with Boolean, and really it's the same with any type. You can define type arrays. So along with being able to define types for variables, we can also define types for functions as well. So let's get rid of this and let's run our TypeScript compiler in watch mode. Okay, so let's create a function. Let's create a function that's going to add two numbers together. So let's say function, let's call it sum, and we're going to take in two numbers. So let's say num1, and we can actually define the types for function parameters. So this is gonna be a type of number. Likewise, num2 is going to be a type of number. And if we wanna define the return type of the function, we just need to put a colon and then define the type right here after the closing parenthesis. This is how you define a return type for a function in TypeScript. So TypeScript is going to expect this function to return a number. And as you can see, we're getting an error here because Visual Studio is saying, I'm expecting this function to return a number, but no number is being returned. So if I were to just return, let's say, negative one, that error disappears. That's pretty neat. So let's actually just uh, return num1 plus num2. And it's as simple as that. This is how you define a return type for a function in TypeScript. So we just saw what happens when we don't return anything when we're expecting to return something. What happens if we return the wrong type? So let's say instead of returning this, let's return a string of some sort. And it looks like we get an error down here in the console because we're returning a string, but TypeScript is expecting this function to return a number. Now, again, this still compiles just fine. So the browser won't have any trouble running this code. TypeScript is just for us, the developers, to keep track of all of the types of our variables and functions when we're developing. So let's delete this and let's uh, get another example. So let's say I want to create a function that uh, takes in a first name and a last name and returns the full name, returns the first name and the last name put together. So let's say function, um, Let's say uh, get full name. It's going to take in a first name. And this is going to be a type of string. And the last name is going to be a type of string. And we're going to return a full name. So that's going to be a string as well. So we need to define the type, the return type to be a string. And TypeScript is going to yell at us because it's expecting a string and it's not getting any. So let's say return first name, last name. And as you can see, we uh, compiled without any errors. So moving on, TypeScript allows us to define optional function parameters. So our full name function takes in a first name and a last name. Well, it's possible that some people also have a suffix to their name, 
like junior or senior, the third, the fourth. So we want to give people the option to pass that in as well. So let's go here after last name and let's say suffix and let's move this over a little bit and let's make this a string. Well, not everybody's going to have a suffix, so let's make this an optional parameter. So let's go right after this X, right before the colon, and let's put a question mark here. This tells TypeScript, hey, this is an optional parameter. Optional parameters must be the last parameters passed into a function. So if I were to try to use this before a required parameter like first name or last name, this is not acceptable. A required parameter cannot follow an optional parameter. So let's put this back. Okay, so let's uh, actually inject this to our string. And this is how you define an optional parameter in TypeScript by defining your variable and then putting a question mark right after it. So one last thing, how can we tell a function that we don't want it to return anything? Well, we can return the type of void. So let's say function, um, let's call this void function and let's give this a return type of void. Void tells TypeScript, hey, this function shouldn't return anything. So if I just leave this blank, that's okay. Also, if I just put return by itself, that's also okay. But if I return anything that's not void, this is not okay. Because TypeScript is expecting this function not to return anything. So if we return anything that's not void or blank, it's gonna throw an error. So in this video, we went over function types. In the next video, we'll be going over interfaces. If you like this video, do me a favor and leave a like and hit subscribe if you haven't already. I'm trying to upload more consistently. Um, just hit a thousand subscribers and that's pretty cool. And I'm trying to keep going and upload better quality content. If you want to talk to me, leave a comment below. But uh, other than that, peace.